I'm Ben Carlson, the quarry manager for Care at Oliver Contracting. Yeah, well this is the Master and Hospital grounds, right where we are here is where the coal boiler used to be and all of that sort of stuff. So basically we're crushing all the concrete from the old structures of the hospital that have been pulled down, so it's all built in the 30s and the main structure in the 70s, so a lot of rebar in it, so a lot of a lot of that going on. Um, there's actually a whole lot of tunnels under there because it was built for the war, so it was um, all the concrete's got to come out of there and get crushed and then all the crushed concrete fills in all the tunnels and all the basements around the site. So we're, um, we've got a grab bucket on our digger up there and we're sort of sorting the concrete as we go and throwing anything too gnarly out into the pile for the mulcher, for the pulveriser and then um, crushing the rest um, through the R5. So yeah, the R5 loves it. It's um, got the pan feeder underneath the underneath the rotor which is awesome for the Rio um, to stop stop you ripping your belts and the big grunty magnetic separator so and the big big screen so yeah we're getting a good 200 ton an hour through it at current um, just depending on the feed yeah so the finished products just um, AP65 all in so there's a bit of bricks in it there's a bit of wood in it there's a bit of everything really so it's um, it's pretty generally all in feed size ranges anywhere up to sort of six seven hundred depending on on what you got there's a lot of people that have mobile crushes around but it's just about utilizing them and and setting them up right and running them to their maximum efficiency so you can buy yourself a bit of time to be able to come and do jobs like this that's the idea with having two r5s in the fleet we've got one on the road and one in the yard keeping the yard going so that's 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 pretty good really so yeah yeah when you when you stack up the price of carting you know, a digger, a crusher and a loader to site to do it is to carting 5,000 tonne out of 5,000 tonne back in. Yeah, no, you're well and truly ahead doing it this way. Yeah, that's, that's the whole beauty of the being on tracks is that they are very versatile and you can just pull it out of there, have a big clean up, put it back in, production, where you go, so yeah. Well, it makes our quarry operation very diverse in the way that we can have our core quarry going with our normal, normal you know, daily supply going on to our customers and our own our own projects as well as being able to put one on a truck and take it here and do that job. It just sort of makes us very diverse as a company because we can sort of cover all bases rather than just the typical old quarry, come get it and go away, you know. So yeah, it's all about being diverse and that's sort of a big part of our company mantra really. So yeah. Yeah, concrete crushing is a bit of an acquired taste, but if you are going to do it, the R5's the boy for the job, eh?